And President Roosevelt has so far lived up to none of his lofty campaign promises. All we have had from Franklin Delano Roosevelt and his so-called brain trust brain is trust? a great deal of high-flown talk and virtually no action. In a nation wracked by poverty, misery, and unemployment, it is deeds we want from the White House, not words. In short, Mr. President, if you're listening, we've had enough of your fireside chats. It's time to... Criticism, damn it. Nothing but criticism. I damn it. Know who I know. Has anyone seen the Washington Post this morning? I tell you, my friend, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Frank, you've already been elected. Every cloud has a silver lining. You're never fully dressed without a smile. All the more about some Frank, Franklin. Uh, thank you, Lou. Show the man. Oliver? Oh, Oliver, good of you to have come. Good morning, Mr. President. And who is this we have here? This is my good friend Annie. Annie? She so wanted to meet you that I couldn't resist her in a while. Just to say hello. Ah, uh, of course. The little girl who sang so beautifully on the radio last night. <coughs> Annie, this is President Roosevelt. How do you do, President Roosevelt? How do you do, Annie? You're as lovely as you sound on the radio. Thank you, President Roosevelt. Well, shall we begin? Annie, if you'll wait outside. I'll... No, no, Oliver. Let Annie stay. Having a child on hand will keep us at our best behavior. Thank you. Well, Oliver, since you speak for those few happy Americans who have any money left at all, I'd like to begin on with your views on the matter. Yes. Mr. President, in the words of Calvin Coolidge, the business of this country is business. Yes. For the good of you, the country, Wall Street, and me, Gotta get my factories open and my workers back to work. Well, according to my latest figures, there are now 15 million Americans out of a job and nearly 50 million with no means of support. As President, if I may add, uncleanliness in America is a problem. The dispatches are driven here in the worst place each day. Germany, how people are starving in this country. I don't want to hear that. The long run. Cordell, the, for the people who are starving, there is no long run. And the trouble is it's happening all at once. The stock market has taken another nosedive. Sit down, Stratus. Right. Floods, dust storms. And the FBI still has to run Al Capone. Well, at least we're all agreed on one thing. The situation is hopeless and getting worse. Henry, I'd like to see those figures. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom's up. What? Little girl? Harold. What did you say, Annie? No, no, it's okay. It's still a free country after all. Speak. Just thinking about tomorrow. Here's the way the cobwebs and the sorrow. Till there's none. When I'm stuck with a day that's gray and long. Oh, my God. 